Okay, this is a much harder example of triangulation. This one is taken from the Maths Quest textbook, and it's the example on page 490. This one needs several steps. We have a situation with four points, A, B, C, and D, and we've been asked to find the length C, D as well as the bearing from C to D. This is one of those questions where we can't find either of those immediately. We'll have to take several steps. You'll see that we've actually got four triangles. Triangle A, B, D. Triangle A, B, C. A, C, D. And B, C, D. So pause it if you want have a look, realize that we've got four different overlapping triangles. In order to find our length CD, which I've just marked here with an X, we have the angle opposite it in the triangle, either ACD or in the triangle BCD. So we can work with either one of those triangles, but we'll have to work with one of them. Let's work with ACD. We can see that the whole angle CAB drawing on the big on the little diagram over here we can see that that whole angle is 80 degrees and the smaller angle BAD is 40 so we can see that our angle opposite X at A in that triangle is also 40 degrees. So in the triangle ACD, I have the angle opposite X that I will need. I don't have angle D, either of the angles at D, I don't have any parallel lines to give me an opportunity easily find that. So don't get carried away at this point with finding angles. Yes, we could find the angles at the center of the diagram. So on my little scribble patch over here, we could find all four angles there, but that won't get us very far because there's no way we're going to find the length of the sides of the other triangles in there. Do not be tempted to say, I know we'll use this triangle here. You can see why I'm scribbling on a separate diagram. Don't be tempted to say we'll use this one. This doesn't count as a usable triangle we can't find the lengths of its sides at all easily. All right, probably a good idea to redraw triangle ACD. So it's side A that we want. I've got 40 degrees. I'm going to need to find sides AC and AD and then use the cosine rule to find side A, that is side CD, the one that we really want. So to find those we look at other triangles. Be aware this one gets complicated. I have in triangle 
ABC got two angles so we'll probably end up redrawing quite a lot of triangles here because it's a lot easier to see what we're doing so in triangle ABC do not be fooled into thinking that, that this is 40 plus 80 at angle A 40 is the little angle 80 is the whole angle angle B in triangle ABC is 30 degrees be very very careful to make sure that you get the correct angle and then of course angle C will be 70 degrees the remainder of the 180 and we know that side AB is 40. That gives us the opportunity then, since we have a side and it's matching opposite angle, to use the sine rule to find... Now we don't actually... Do we need the other two sides? We might. We definitely need AC. That's one of the ones that we're aiming for. So that's side B and the side C that we're working with. I'm going to have to move around a bit in this example. So we're finding a side, side B. So B on sine B equals C on sine C. Substitute our values. B on sine 30 degrees equals 40 on sine 70 degrees. Oh, sorry about my writing. I'll fix that. Rearrange. B equals 40 sine of 30 degrees on sine 70 degrees. I've lost my calculator. Forty sine 30 degrees divided by sine 70. All right, I've got B. Now we've got a lot of working to do in this question. Do not round until the end. So we're working with 21.2835 Three. Oh, hang on. Two, eight, three, five, five, five should do. Keep a couple more decimal points at the very least than you need in your final answer. Do not round to one or two decimal points when we're still doing the working. So I've got one side of that triangle that I needed. So going back up to this one, 21.28. Put it in its short form on the diagram for sure. So now I need side AD on this little triangle. Once I have that, I'll have two sides and the included angle on triangle ACD and I'll be able to find the side CD that I need. So we have a look for situations where we can work out side AD. Have a look at triangle ABD this time. This one has side AD. Be very careful working out which angle goes where. The angle at A is 40 degrees. Don't be fooled into thinking it's 80. 80 was all the way around from CAB. I've just highlighted that in my original diagram and the two smaller angles that make it up are 40. 
angle B, 110 degrees. And we've got 150 in total, so angle D is 30, and still side AB is 40. So once again, we can use the sine rule. I've got a side and a matching opposite angle, and I want to find side B. B over sine B equals, in this case, it's D over sine D. Substitute your values. B over sine 110 degrees equals 40 over sine 30 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, I've run out of page. Rearrange B equals 40 sine 110 degrees over sine of 30 degrees and do your calculation. So that's 40 sine 110 divided by sine 30. Once again, keep a lot of accuracy here. Might as well round there at about five decimal point places. Now, going back up to my original diagram, and in that triangle that I started drawing, I've got side AD, that's 75.17. But remember, we keep more accuracy than that. And finally, I can find side CD. Running out of working space, but that will be our cosine rule. Okay, so having redrawn our triangle here, you don't need to redraw as often as I am. I'm just trying to make this pretty clear. Notice that I've only written our two decimal points, but I've kept on my calculator the full values that I'm going to need to be using. So the cosine rule to find this side. A squared equals C squared plus oh, it's D squared in this case. I wouldn't get too carried away about getting exactly the right letters for the triangle. If you just use A, B, and C, we'll usually all write. Minus 2CD times cos A. Substitute your values in. Notice that my working's getting pretty nasty here. Um, it's very, very easy to screw up and miss a number here or there. As I've done right there, 21.283555. Basically, be very careful. Minus 2 times, yes, we have to write all this out, 75.17541 times 21.283555. Okay, so that's minus 2 CD times cos of angle A, which is 40 degrees. So yes, it's a challenge to write the whole thing out. Yes, it's a challenge to get it entered into the calculator. I'll pause for a moment while I enter this, so I'm not taking up more of your time. So hoping that I've entered this correctly. Yes, we have. I've got A squared at that point. If you're not certain about what I entered, double check my working here or check page 491 of your textbook. 
So a squared is 3,652.9898. A is the square root of this. Notice I'm always keeping at least two more decimal points than I need. Evaluate the square root. And I've got side A, which is in fact side CD, 60.44 units. We weren't given a measurement. Sorry about my dodgy writing. That has answered the first question. We still have the question all the way back here of the bearing from C to D. We've now got that distance. Having come back to our angle ACD, we'll have to work out angle C, as I said. Might leave it for a second video. Yes, these will take a while.